Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It's your boy Apple Scumpy bringing you another YouTube video here today at the airport, getting ready for my flight back home. And today I have a special guest. Hey. Optic Nade Shot. Yeah, we have a flight back together. We're leaving in about an hour, going to Chicago, and then I fly back to Harrisburg. I don't get back to like 7 o'clock. But we got third at the championships, which was a total of $120,000, so it was $30,000 each, and then after taxes, you know, I'm not really sure what it was. But we played an amazing event, in my opinion. We, we got a lot better at hard point since the start of the weekend, didn't we? Oh, yeah, no, it, it was a really big improvement. I think our, our biggest test was when we played complexity. Hold on. <laughs> okay. All right, there's announcement. He's still going. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of announcements going on. So, our biggest test was against Complexity. We were playing them for <clears throat> a spot at Sunday, which would be top three. So we went. Uh, we actually lost our SD and our CTF, which usually never happens. That's unorthodox for us. And we won both our hard points against probably like a top three hard point team. So. That was very, very unexpected. We were happy about that. Yeah, so like I said, our hard point really improved. I'm really happy about that. If we can just get our search and destroy down to a science, like never losing searches, we'll be unstoppable. Agreed. Because our CTF game is, I want to say it's right up there with Envy Us, and they're considered one of the best teams in the game at CTF. And that's because they have like the same players as us, basically. Just different roles. Like J-Cap and Proofy are their ARs. We have Joey and Big Timer as ours, and then Stainville runs an AR. That's the only difference, really. They play a lot slower and let Ray do all the objective. And then me and Matt usually use SMGs. So, you know, we're right up there with them in CTF. We're pretty damn good at it. But overall, the weekend was a success, in my opinion. I yeah, mean, it was. I mean, it was really fun. What do you think of the event? Dude, Activision and Track really did it big. They, uh, they spoiled us, Tra treated us like celebrities, man. Everything was done well, put together. Oh, yeah. Super organized, probably the fastest moving tournament that we've ever played at because every match was on time and it was it was unbelievable. So shout out to Activision and Treyarch, you guys really uh, made a dream come true for myself and probably all these gamers that showed up. Yeah, speaking of those strict schedules, you know, Nade Shot over here has a really small bladder, apparently. No. <laughs> <laughs> when you get when you're like nervous all day and you got nerves but explain to them why I say that fluids go right through you so I, I pee like every after like every map it yeah, sucks we were like in the in the sound isolation chambers waiting to play and they were like you can't go to the bathroom but thankfully they actually let him go which he didn't even end up going in the end because I don't know I guess it just goes away whenever you start playing but it is true like whenever you're playing for that much money the nerves just completely mess you up and you have to piss like every two seconds it sucks but overall like I said this weekend was awesome we are grateful for even having the opportunity to come out we went into the losers bracket I mean pretty early not really that early but it was it was still a long road to get back into the top three we had to play what three four matches uh... We played Epsilon, Inferno, Fear. Enigma, we didn't play Epsilon. Or Enigma, Inferno, Fear, Complexity. That's four matches that we went through the open or the loser bracket. So what, did we get knocked out before semifinals? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got knocked out in quarterfinals of winner's bracket. So we won one. We played Pain Gaming in first round, then we played Farico Impact ridiculously close games again. Both of our losses this weekend were to them, and that series was ours. We made so many little tiny mistakes that cost us the whole series. Like, it sucked. On Express, they won in overtime. It was 2-1. We were up 2-1 to one with about a minute 30 left, and then we played two defensively. We, we like basically gave them full map control, and they got it out. They smoked it and just ran it out, and then they got a sentry gun, and they threw trophies on it. They had like six trophies on it, and we just ran into them for like five minutes straight. It was ridiculous. And then SND, what was the SND? Oh, wait, no, we played Hijack. Hijack, we lost by eight points. So it was ridiculously close. Congrats to Freako, though. It's crazy that they ended up winning three tournaments in a row. That's like never been done before. So it's pretty ridiculous. But this game allows you to do that because they're the best hard point team in the game by far right now. Well, not by far, but they are like undoubtedly 
the best hard point team in the game. And if you win both your hard points, all you have to do is win one S and D or one CTF. And they usually win both hard points, not all the time, but you know it's usually they do. So congrats to them. Like I said, we had a great weekend. This is sort of awkward for us in the airport, at least for me. Nade's like, dude, just talk in a regular voice. But all these people are around us looking at me like I'm a freaking weirdo. But, you know, it is what it is. But this is me and Optic Nate shot in the airport, chilling, waiting for our flight back. But as always, this was your boy Optic Scumpy. Peace.